Luke here with uh, Pierre Moorhead, the, the uh, senior project engineer for Hornblower Cruises and Events. I'm David Kraft, editor in chief of Workboat Magazine, and we're cruising aboard the Hornblower Hybrid, which is a 168 foot uh, ferry, which is powered by uh, a combination of tier two diesels. Uh, we also have batteries, solar panels, wind turbines, and a soon, hopefully, to be installed uh, hydrogen fuel cell. And uh, uh, Kier has designed this system. He's going to tell us a little about it. So first of all, uh, Kier, tell us about the, this complex system you have on, on the vessel here. Well, the system itself, it, 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 it's complicated to make it simple. Uh, the, the goal of the boat was to make it still handle like, like a normal boat so the uh, captain and crew can still operate this thing while we still have all of this um, uh, power transferring and power management happening under the hood. Um, the system itself will um, take power from one engine, two engines, uh, an auxiliary generator, batteries, or the soon fuel cells, and optimize the, uh, the devices generating electricity uh, in order to give us the most optimum uh, fuel consumption. So if we're uh, at the dock or if we're loitering, uh, we may shift down to no engine operation and just run on batteries. Uh, if we're doing, uh, say, a dinner cruise, which is what this boat does predominantly, um, we only need one engine uh, in the engine room to cover all of our house and propulsion loads. So we can, we can uh, uh, switch around engines uh, just to, to reduce our fuel consumption. So you've been in service here in uh, New York. Of course, we were cruising around New York at least, and you can see uh, behind uh, here. Uh, you've been in service regularly since April, so how, so far, how has the boat been performing in the system and everything? Uh, the boat's been performing beautifully. Uh, the, the captains have, have uh, all taken an interest to the vessels and uh, enjoy driving it. Uh, the, the comments that we get are that it's too quiet mm -hmm. and it's too smooth. You don't, <laughs> you don't have the jarring movements of clutches engaging uh, as our gearboxes don't even have clutches in them. Uh, we reverse our motors to reverse the propellers. Uh, and uh, it, it can be a little uh, uncomfortable for a captain to be making an approach to a dock and then hear his engines turn off uh, as he's approaching. But uh, uh, that's been the, the majority of the comments that we've had of the vessel so far, and uh, everyone's taken, taken to it very well. Uh, um, Kier, what are the future plans for um, hybrid vessels with a hornblower? What, what you guys, uh, I know you have one that was just delivered, and you have another one that's on the drawing board, so what, what, what are your plans for future vessels like this? Uh, our next vessel is uh, due to be turned out in March of next year and that'll be uh, another vessel servicing uh, Alcatraz Island in California. Um, we have plans for uh, um, a potential hybrid down in San Diego uh, that'll be servicing our, our whale watching and uh, harbor cruise uh, service and we also have plans to integrate uh, hybrid technologies in our uh, new venture in Niagara Falls. That's a lot of uh, projects. You're going to be yeah. one busy guy. Uh, be very busy. Well, Kier Moorhead, a senior project engineer for our Hornblower uh, Cruise Events, who's uh, normally based out of California, and he's here for a couple of weeks. Uh, thanks for your time, and uh, good luck in the future. Great. Thank you very much.